I'm Steve, this is Bit of Munch. And for my final microwave meal of the week, I have got a little roast beef dinner in an Iceland Yorkshire pudding. Giant Yorkshire pudding, in fact. And here it is. I think I can tip that quite nicely without it all falling out. There we go. So, yep, yeah, I've got a Yorkshire pudding in a Yorkshire pudding. Okay. Right, that's still quite hot. So while that's cooling down a bit, a couple of things I want to say. Um, there's a channel I want to recommend to you. The channel is called Food From Afar. I'll put a link to the channel down below. It's run by a lovely lady called Martine. She does food reviews and she does cooking videos. And she really deserves more subscription, more subscribers. She deserves more views. It's a really good channel. She's trying to build it up. And uh, yeah, head over, head, uh, head over there. Give her a watch, give her a like, give her a comment and tell her I sent you. Right, next thing is, I hope you've enjoyed this week of microwave meals. And if you've got any other ideas for themed weeks I could do, then let me know in the comments. I don't want them to be too specific. Um, I don't know. I was thinking of something off the top of my head. I don't want you to say, review fish fingers all week. Because <laughs> that'd be pretty boring, wouldn't it? Yeah, so something that I can get a bit of variety into, like this week, microwave meals. I mean, there's a huge variety of microwave meals. So, yeah, I'm open to, I'm open to ideas. Right, what's cooking? That's what it's called, from Lidl, roast beef dinner. This was £1.79. It says, roast beef dinner with classic accompaniments. Succulent roast beef, yeah, we'll see. In a rich beef gravy served with roast potatoes, peas, baby carrots and a golden Yorkshire pudding. Might be golden, but it's a very soft and floppy mini Yorkshire pudding. And the Yorkshire pudding I've put in is one of these from Iceland. These are 150 for two. Now if you don't know, I've done a few videos of putting different things in a Yorkshire pudding. And... Uh, yeah, with some interesting results. So if you haven't had a look at those videos, head over and uh, have a look when you've, uh, when you've watched this one. Right, so I can't get over the fact I've got a Yorkshire pudding in a Yorkshire pudding. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that little Yorkshire pudding first. Because I said, it's all floppy, it's all soft. Mm. <laughs> and it hardly tastes of anything. It really doesn't. Let's hope the rest of it tastes of something. I mean, it smells good. The gravy on this smells excellent. The main ingredient in this is gravy. 36% gravy. And you've got 12% peas, 12% carrots, 10% beef silver side. Uh, how, many, how much potatoes? Uh, don't know. Some potatoes. There's actually six pieces of potato of varying sizes. So, I'm going to try a bit of potato first. I mean, these are so soft, these things. I, I could just pick it up, I suppose. In fact, I'm going to. I'm going to just pick it up. The easier. Right, potato. That needs some salt. That is in desperate need of some salt. It really is. I've got my salt and pepper handy here because I thought I might need it. It's okay. The consistency is okay. This is quite soft, obviously, because it's been in the microwave. But it's all right. It's just... There's no seasoning. Hmm. Texture is fine. Right. I'm not going to pick up 
peas and carrots in gravy with my fingers. <clears throat> right. Let's have a, trying to get a carrot on its own. There we go. Let's try a carrot. That gravy is lovely. It doesn't overpower the carrot. You can still taste the carrot. It's a nice consistency. Let's check out the peas. Hmm, they're good. They're very sweet peas. I like them. They're nice. Right, I'm not going to be able to, I'm going to have to put this down to cut the meat, aren't I? Right, the cutting of the meat. Here we go. That's a bit of beef silver side. Let's hope it's nice. Hmm. Little bit of a chew but not too much at all and no fat no gristle that was a nice bit of beef actually really nice I mean they look like nice uh, slices when I was putting them in I was looking at them thinking you know, I can't see any fat or anything on them they look good right um, <clears throat> next <laughs> A bit of the giant Yorkshire pudding. Mm. <laughs> That's much better than the soft one that you get in the in the microwave meal. It's nice and crispy around the edge. It hasn't got a huge amount of taste, but right. I'm going to try and get a bit of everything here. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but you will in a minute. You'll see the result. Right, there's the bit of meat and the uh, Yorkshire. Peas and carrots. And the tiniest potato. That goes really well all together, actually. The sweetness of the peas does come through. I say it's a nice bit of meat. The potatoes are okay, but they do need some salt. So they're gonna get some salt there. There we go, and I'm putting some on that little Yorkshire as well. I'm not gonna put any salt on anything else because it really doesn't need it. But that is really nice. That works. I've been at work this morning and while I was at work, this was spurring me on. I was thinking, I'm gonna have a really filling, lovely meal when I get home, and I'm really gonna enjoy this. I really am. I might have some, uh, might have an edge of Yorkshire pudding left, actually. And uh, what do you do with leftover Yorkshire pudding? When I was a kid, I used to put jam on it. I haven't done that for absolute years. I think I might try that. In fact, I will try that. I'll break a bit off that's not, that hasn't got any gravy on it, so over this side, by the potatoes. I'm gonna save that, and I'm gonna put some jam on it and see what it's like. Right. That is a, that is a good meal, actually. That really is. For £1.79, you compare that to the price of frozen... Uh, roast meals from other supermarkets and that is very very good price and I recommend it yeah that's nice as I said needs a bit of salt on the potatoes and the uh, Yorkshire is a bit floppy and tasteless but it doesn't really matter I've put some salt on the potatoes now so that'll make it better giant Yorkshire pudding 
I said, if you think of any other ideas I can put in a Yorkshire pudding, please let me know. Done a few so far. Right, I'm going to go and enjoy that before it cools down too much. Uh, I said, again, again, now, yeah, I'll say again, I hope you've enjoyed this week of microwave meals. I certainly have. I've discovered some new tastes. Especially that, that salmon fillet dinner that I had with the parsley sauce. That was possibly the most enjoyable meal of the week. I've been thinking about this. Although the Sainsbury's butter chicken was lovely, the sauce was absolutely lovely, it could have done with more meat. Um, the salmon meal was incredible. <laughs> I loved it. And it was probably the healthiest, what's the, yeah, that was probably the healthiest meal of the week. I just checked the traffic light system on this. Oh yeah, the salt, ah, salt is in the red. And I've just added more to it. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> right, I'm going to stop waffling and go and eat me, me meal. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tomorrow at the usual time of 2pm.